Good evening and welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. Let's take a look at our headlines. Three petitions against the election. Decision from Finance Minister on payment of tax as earned. The Catholic Church's disapproval of senior DIG Nilanta Jayawardena being given higher positions. A disclosure from the Conservator General of Forests on Sri Lanka's forest population. A police chief and a group arrested for ATM fraud. Kadavatta also becomes a multimodal transport hub. Now, diving into our lead stories. Jatika Janabala Vegia has filed three interlocutory petitions before the Supreme Court asking to dismiss the writ petition filed by retired Colonel W.M.R. Vijayasundara asking for a writ order to stop the holding of the local government elections. Iranga Gunasekro, the national organizer of the Socialist Youth Association and Vishkeshra Chandrasekhar, a senior lecturer at the Faculty of Law of the University of Colombo, have filed these interlocutory petitions. Minister of State for Finance Dr. Ranjit Siambalapitiya says that a circular will be issued suspending the payment of income tax of its employees through certain government institutions and semi-government institutions. The related circular is scheduled to be issued this week. The Catholic Church expresses its displeasure over the giving of positions and privileges to senior DIG Nilanta Jayawardena, who has been accused of not preventing the Easter Sunday terrorist attack. Its media spokesman, Father Cyril Gamini Fernando, points out that this promotion was done with the aim of preventing the disclosure of the truth about the Easter attack. Forest Conservator General KMA said that reports that Sri Lanka's forest population has deceased to 16% are false. KMA Bandara has informed the President's office according to the Forest Conservator General, the forest population in Sri Lanka is 29.15% of the total land area. According to the Criminal Investigation Department, the control section officer of the Megatanna police station was arrested in connection with an incident of money fraud through ATM machines. During the investigation, two foreigners were suspected of stealing money by hacking into the account system of several state banks located in Hikkaduwa, Baddegama, Gaul and Karapitiya. Information has been revealed that it is also related to it. The Ministry of Urban Development and Housing has decided to develop the town of Kadavatta where all the highways are connected to each other as a multimodal transport centre. Urban Development and Housing Minister Prasanna has requested that the necessary steps be taken to transfer the Kadavatta multimodal transport centre, which has been completed to the people as soon as possible. Ranatunga has given instructions to the relevant officials. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.